Cobra's been dating this guy Tyler for a while. I posted a picture of Cobra sleeping on my Snapchat, and Alex slid up and was like, this is the most, or she's cute, or this is the most beautiful girl I've ever seen, something like that. And I showed Cobra, and, he, and she's like, ah, oh, give me um, his Snapchat. I'm like, oh, you want it because you're your boyfriend? He's like, oh, we can just talk. It's fine or whatever. And I'm like, all right, Cobra, like, yeah, I'll give it to you or whatever. And then they started FaceTiming, like, literally every night. And I was like, oh, what's going on here? Like, do you like him or whatever? And she's like, she's like, no, we're just talking. It's fine. Like, it's chill because I knew she had a boyfriend. So I was like, what? It got to the point where one day she told me that she started liking it. And I'm like, all right, bro, let me tell you, like, I know how you were in the past with, like, guys and stuff. But, like, this guy is my best friend. And, like, anything you do, I will tell him. Like, you're my best friend, he's my best friend, but I don't want you guys to get hurt. And if you guys don't work out, I'm in the middle of it. Like, it's just kind of a bad situation. So I just want to make sure that if you go into this with Alex, then I don't want him getting hurt and I don't want you getting hurt. I told Alex, I'm going to tell you this right now, like, she has cheated on people in the past. And he was like, okay, I'll, like, watch out for it. Alex knew that she had a boyfriend when he was talking to her because I did tell him. And I'm just like... All right, Cover, like, you need to break up with Tyler. Like, you have to do this. If you're to talk to my best friend, you are breaking up with him. She's like, okay, okay, okay. Um, Alex, would, if he had a problem with Cover, he'd always text me. They have not met at this point. They are doing, like, long distance, basically. I remember he texted me one time. He's like, what's going on with Cover? I said, what do you mean? He's like, I know, she seems like movie. Keep this between you and I, you know? I said, yeah, of course. He's like, okay, cool. I really like her. Like, it's the first time he told me this. But... I remember you saying she doesn't stay loyal, so I'm scared to, to go deep into this with her because I'm afraid if she isn't loyal, I don't want to get hurt. I said, I know, I feel that. And then he goes, is she loyal now, question mark? Like, I don't know what to do. And he goes, like, just was scared, I guess. I don't want to get hurt. You know, we go way back. The last thing I want is to get wrecked find out they were getting more deep and deep into it i remember like one time we found out that she was still talking to tyler all my friends were like you need to tell alex like this is not okay and i had a boyfriend at the time I guess like he told alex she kind of went off on me about it i don't know because the whole tyler thing stupid shit i'm trying to break it off and i hate hurting people like i guess she didn't break it off i fucking don't want to lose alex right now the thoughts of losing, losing him is making me unmotivated to do anything today. I've just been laying in bed sleeping this entire day when so many people ask me to hang out. Like, I literally can't function. I see as my best friend. I really don't mean to, like, honestly, you mean a lot to me, Dana. And I was like, no, dude. That's lost in trust. You're making no sense, like, at all. The answer should be yes. Then Tyler telling me and everyone saying you're dating. Dude, you're fucking with my best friend. What did I tell you when you first started talking to him? I said, Alex knows everything. He will find out everything. Dude, I wouldn't care if you were fucking with people. I didn't know, but dude, come on. My best fuck fucking friend. And of course, if there's a problem, he will come to me. He's my brother, my fucking family, and I'm watching you date another guy. Well, you love Alex. Me sitting here, not saying anything to him. Jess and Brendan would say all the time, dude, you gotta say something. That's your best friend. I would never. But I guess Brendan was over... Not me saying anything, and he did it. Because he knows how close me and Alex are, dude. I almost lost my close friend back home because you were fucking another guy. He threatened me last night saying, I don't know how we can be friends out of this, Dana. Like, dude, can't you ever put yourself in someone else's shoes once you think what you're doing? Like, I was so upset. I thought I was going to lose Alex over her. I know what to do at this point, but to tell her straight up, like, you need to fix this. Need to break up with this Tyler guy. You're done. You're over it. Like, don't like I don't know what you want me to do after that she finally proved to everybody that she broke up with Tyler She blocked him on everything and they were good. Oh Cover and Alex were getting super close be being very exclusive I went back home for Christmas I brought Cover with me and actually Cover Hi. Home Hi. a day before me And Alex picked her up from the airport and they met and I remember seeing snapchats. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, they finally met. Like, this is so cute. It was just, like, pretty perfect. Like, everything was, like, going pretty well, you know? After Alex went home, she and him were already getting into fights and stuff. And I remember I personally needed a mental break. The point where I moved off the island to a different island in Maui for a month. And the second I moved back, we were, like, so excited to see each other again because I didn't see her for a month. I said, Cobert, I am moving to California in three days. But 
I get a text from Tyler and it said, hey, I haven't heard from my girlfriend in a week. Is she okay? We're texting back like, who's your girlfriend and why do I care? And he's like, Cover. And I'm like, what? I thought we were over this Tyler guy. I was like freaking out about it. She gets a phone call from Tyler. I remember Alex's face? He was like devastated. He's like, dude. Like, bro, what is this? Like, he was like, why is he calling you? And I remember she, like, was like, I don't know why he's calling me. I don't even know. Like, I haven't talked to that man in, like, like, months. I haven't talked to him in months since I broke up with him. I was so confused. I'm like, Tyler, what are you talking about, bro? Like, she's dating Alex, and you know that. And he's all like, what? Who? Like, dude, what do you mean? Like, explain to me. He's like, what do you mean? I've been dating her this whole time. And I'm like, so you're telling me Culver has not broken up with you? And he's like, no, why would she? Like, cause she is dating another dude. I was just like, well, what did, what did Culver tell you? Like, he, she said you guys were moving to California cause you guys were gonna be on a reality TV show. What? And then I'm like, well, what did you, who did you think Alex was all over her Instagram? Like, looking like a cup, like a couple. And she said, that's her, just her friend. That's just her friend. And I remember Alex, Hit her up and said, if you block Tyler on everything, we can get back together. And I remember she went over to his house and she did exactly that and they got back together. Like, no, like, um, please keep this between you and I. And then she goes post on the internet. But I just, I think, I think like, you know, especially with like this Charlie and Shay stuff and like, you know, me and Cobra stuff, it's like this happened so long ago too that like it was my decision, what I wanted to do with it. And it's also my relationship, it's no one else's business. So I feel like to have like my relationship broadcast like that kind of just sucks, but it's like, you know, of course, like what do I get because I'm social media. Thank you guys for all the gifts by the way, I'm following you guys. So when you and Cobra all good? Yeah, I mean, we've been good. I, this was, all these things that happened, like just, uh, at least I didn't watch the video, but what I heard about the video, everything that she said happened, happened a year and a half ago. It's already been dealt with. You know, we dealt with it during our relationship. And where do I want my hot dog? What do you want on it? The hot dog and a bun? And ketchup? Do you want ketchup and mustard? Yeah, that'd be dope. Thank you, babe. We've been good. I mean, this happened like a year and a half ago to two years ago. And it's like. Ketchup and mustard, please. You know, at the end of the day, it's like. It's. it's our relationship, what I decided to do, and like, you know, it's no one else's business, yet someone wanted to make it someone else's business and for views. Because, I mean, number one, if you didn't want it for views, you would have posted it when it happened. Number two, if you didn't want it for views, why would you use my name if all you did was speak good about me? And number three, if you didn't do it for views, why would you put the Hype House in the title? Because it has nothing to do with the Hype House. It's just, yeah. And like you, you guys gotta understand too, it's like with social media especially, like right now, if you haven't noticed, everyone's doing exposed videos because they're bored and they need views and they can't go out and get videos done. So like they're gonna spread shit, they're gonna say lies just so they can cash in and make their, their check. And even then it's one side. You don't even hear the other side because I don't wanna respond. There's no point in me responding for something that happened two years ago and it's none of her business. So, and I just hate being in this drama, like in the middle of it. It's like, I don't care about the drama. I don't want to be a part of it. And you know I'll never respond to it. And they don't have to ask. How long have you and Cobra been dating? Like a year and a half, dude. Like two years? No, yeah, like about to be two years. It's crazy. I've known her for three years. Two years? Two and a half years? Three years? I don't know. It's just, it feels like it's gone by so quickly, you know? It's, it's crazy. Um, you're amazing and so strong for dealing with all this you shouldn't have to deal with. I don't, thank you, but I mean, it's, it's, it's annoying, but it's also like eye-opening just to see what people will do to get views, I think. In my opinion, it's like, for the people who actually know me, you know I'm not. Like, as much as people want to say I'm problematic and stuff, I, I'm not. Cobra and I are really just staying in our own lane a lot of the time, so it's like, yeah, it sucks, but it, it's definitely eye-opening to see who you're closest with. And like, it sucks because you have to find out in the public eye, like everyone has to see what's happening. How'd you meet? We met on Snapchat. Um, she was on one of my friend's stories. 
And I was like, damn, she's so hot. <laughs> I said beautiful. And she was like sleeping. And um, then we just started talking. I got, I got her Snapchat from my friend and it was cool. For the Emily Morales, I saw what you said. Um, what are you talking about? It was two years ago and you know, it's my personal stuff. I understand like how invested you guys are in like, you know, social media, cause especially there's nothing going on. But there's like personal space and there's like privacy and no one seems to respect that anymore. You know, it's like what my decision was two years ago shouldn't affect the way you see me in my relationship, nor should it affect the way you see me. It's just like, it's like personal. It's like, it's, it's privacy. And it's like, if you guys really like me and Cobra, it's like you respect that. Um, could you get Calvin to say hi? I don't know where Calvin is. Where is Calvin?